It's February 27th. The weather's turned unbelievably mild. There's little snow left, even in the bush. The roads are clear, it's well above freezing, and I have a lunch meeting with Guy, who sold me this Breva 1100. Merrickville's a pleasant little touristy town south of Ottawa, about 65 miles away from where I live. I got plenty of time to dawdle, which isn't a bad idea, since there's still plenty of sand in the corners. Let's ride. As I roll up the Battersea Road, the temperature gauge on the bike is showing 12 degrees Celsius. A remarkable, and perhaps a little disturbing, temperature. I'm conscious that by burning hydrocarbons, I too will be adding to the climate problems. But I console myself with the thought that my contribution is minuscule compared to the pollution thrown out by industry, coal-fired generating plants, and the Alberta tar sands. All those idling work pickups. What is it about working guys and big trucks that they have to leave them running for hours at a time? Is it just too much effort to switch them off? Anyway, it's hard to worry about such things on such a wonderful day. The bike's running well, and there are plenty of curves to keep me entertained. Even if I have to focus more on choosing a line to avoid the loose sand, than worry about apexes and exit lines. Even if I had the remotest idea of such things. I sped this little section up to move us along a way and prevent this video from becoming tediously long. You'll no doubt notice the problems I'm having with the traffic. It's a tough life, but somebody has to ride these roads. Eventually I get to Merrickville. Early, of course. I'm almost always early, but it gives me a chance to wander the main street and take a few pictures. Merrickville grew up around a lock station on the Rideau Canal and has some fine stone buildings, one of which contains the Goose and Gridiron, our lunchtime destination. And then it was time to head for home again. As any of you who know this area will realize, I didn't record any footage east of Highway 15 and didn't switch the camera back on until I was heading home down the Chafee's Lock Road. I stopped briefly to play with my new toy and shoot a little overhead, then rolled on home. By this time the dash thermometer was reading 17 degrees Celsius, a ridiculous temperature for late February in eastern Ontario. Such warmth has the birds all confused. The robins and cardinals have started pegging out their territories. The morning doves are already mating on our deck rail at home, and many of the geese and swans never bothered to leave this winter. 
as the larger lakes barely froze at all. But for people who like to ride their bikes, this mild winter has been a blessing. We'll probably get punished with brutal weather in March and April, but for now, I'm enjoying it. As usual, please like, subscribe, etc. And take a crack at my motorcycle travel books. They're available through Amazon and Audible. They're entertaining and dirt cheap. Just look for Nick Adams Motorcycle. Thanks for watching.